In March of 1836, a Mexican army of 4,000 men advanced on the old mission in San Antonio, known as the Alamo. Inside, almost 200 U.S. volunteers huddled, awaiting an attack. Most had come to help wrestle the territory of Texas from Mexico. Texas had a lot of land and a lot of riches in terms of, uh, of the future. And many of these people saw the possibility of establishing themselves anew in the West. They saw this as the West. 150 miles from the Alamo, a group of prominent Texans was gathering to sign a Declaration of Independence. Among them was an ambitious merchant, an idealistic politician who had been pushing for Texas independence for much of his life. No one had more to gain or to lose from the fight for Texas than Jose Antonio Navarro. So this is a prominent man. He is a lawmaker, legislator in the Mexican Federation. And here he is turning on that nation by signing that Declaration of Independence to create a new country. That's a big risk. Navarro was the leader of the Tejanos, people who had settled the Mexican frontier of Texas. For generations, they had been fighting for independence. At the Alamo, Tejanos stood shoulder to shoulder with U.S. volunteers. The irony is that the Alamo is seen as a strictly Anglo-Texan versus Mexican dynamic, when in reality, Tejanos initiated the independence movement and developed the principles of independence against the Mexican government. The Alamo would be remembered for the valor of men like Travis, Crockett, and Bowie. Men with names like Lozoya, Esparza, and Navarro, whose struggles had led to that fateful day, would be forgotten. experience is made possible by the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation to enhance public understanding of the role of technology. The foundation also seeks to portray the lives of the men and women engaged in scientific and technological pursuit. At Liberty Mutual Insurance, we do everything we can to help prevent accidents and make America a safer place. Liberty Mutual is proud to support American experience. At the Scotts Company, we help make gardens more beautiful, lawns greener, trees taller. If there's a better business to be in, please let us know. Funding for this program is made possible by a grant from the Ford Foundation. American Experience is also made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.